Well, you're looking at a big heart right here in the, get it? The heart of San Francisco. Hey, I'm Con Jackson. Welcome back to Get Connected. We love connecting with people in the know and places you want to go. Now, our show will involve right around this Union Square area because it's got cool things. But first, we're going up north to a brand new show that's in its second season featuring Chef Mark and his wife, Bianna. They take ex-cons, put them in the kitchen, and start a restaurant. I'm telling you, this season is going to be extra spicy. And the reason we're covering it is because, you know what? We all love food when we're in San Francisco, and this is going to be a hot new show. Well, not new. Second season, Conviction Kitchen. And we welcome to the chef and Bianna to the show. Welcome. Hi, Hi Kong. Kong. Well, congratulations on the second season. We just skied up in Whistler, just north of Vancouver, where your show is taking place. What an incredible location. Uh, well, have you, if you visited Vancouver, you'd know that it, it is a city uh, absolutely riddled with, uh, with drugs and a city where you have, it, 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 I, I don't know how many drug addicts that are trying to stay sober, trying to get employment, but it's so easy to access drugs that it's actually quite impossible to stay sober there. So it was just sort of a natural step for us to, to go there and help these people. And a great challenge. Yeah. Well, take us back two steps, Mark, and tell us how did this concept first get started called Conviction Kitchen? I mean, it was uh, maybe for, for me, for myself and Bianca, maybe it was just a natural thing uh, to do because uh, obviously I battled addiction for, the, for 25, 27 years. And um, for the last uh, five years, I'm sober. And uh, it was a little bit for us to give back, to help people, to uh, go through the journey of uh, try to get clean, try to get a job, try to keep your job and try to uh, just make, have a normal life, be happy, you know, be happy in your sobriety. Well, that's interesting to know. And Mark, I know you've been very public with some of your abuse issues from the past. How rewarding has it been to be part of this show? I mean, for me, for me, it's fantastic to have these guys. I mean, they call me once, two times a week and just tell me or if they, have, if they struggle or if they have a problem or even if they're happy. No, they call me. They're, actually, they're, they, they learn how to deal with their feelings and to talk about their feelings. And for me, it's just, for me, it was rewarding. And at the same time, it helped me also in my, so, you know, it helps me in my sobriety, helping other people. And uh, it was just, you know, normal step for me. You know, Chef, I'm just curious, with all the pressures and stresses in the kitchen, what has kept you from going back onto your old ways? First of all, Bianna. Uh, she keeps a very close eye on me. And uh, it's also, I mean, I think it's the love and passion for food that I have. That's a great story. And what's the key to giving people second chances and setting them up for success? Well, you know, the key to giving people a second chance is, I think, First of all, they need to want to be given a chance. They really need to want to change. Uh, and you sense that, you know, the ones who are there for the wrong reasons get we weeded out. So for us, when you give somebody a second chance and they really want it, uh, but then you, you have to give it your, all your love and all your effort. And you really have to dedicate yourself to these people. And, uh, and so, if, so that's really what, what we did. And if you, if you watch Conviction Kitchen, you'll see that. On a daily basis, you just have to give and give more. And you have to listen, you have to train and you teach. And you become almost like a parent. That's great advice. Thank you both for joining us. And congratulations on season two. I can't wait to tune in. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What a great couple. And when I talk about food, I get hungry. And what a better place to be than San Francisco. And we're going to go to the restaurant that is considered the best here in the Bay Area. And oh, that chef can cook indeed. We'll be with him and you when we come back.